Right then, this is a quick road test video on a particularly soggy day, unfortunately. And this is for a Honda CRV 2.2 EX diesel. This particular car is registered SP13HGD and the mileage of 69,787 miles. The reason for doing these videos, as I always say, is very simple. It's basically so that if anyone's looking at our car or this car, in an advert online they actually get to see the very car advertised in operation which we feel is very important given that we've gone to see cars which look perfectly good only to get there and find out that they've got a fundamental issue which shows up whilst driving the car so hence that's why we do it it's also done on part of the road test route any prospective buyer would go on and the reason for that is that hopefully then it'd be representative of what you'd feel yourself should you be offered a test drive in the car so coming to the car, um, engine starts absolutely instantly and settles to completely smooth, even idle. Uh, there are no warning lights on the dashboard at all relating to the engine or any other part of the car. I'll do the temperature gauge later in the video because I, I like to start the cars from cold where I possibly can and this one has been started from cold. The engines are absolutely brilliant diesel engines. Um, typical Honda incredibly tough and long-lasting with regular maintenance and very 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 reliable certainly by comparison to virtually every other make and model of car out there um, but more importantly it's actually a lovely engine to use day in day out it's very smooth very quiet uh, only really in the very lowest of gears are you actually aware that it's actually a diesel because at the higher gears third fourth fifth sixth it sounds so smooth and quiet that you could easily be sat in a petrol engine car, albeit a very torquey one, because it really just pulls like a train. Um, engine then feeds through into clutch and gearbox. Clutch on the car, absolutely perfect. Bike point is exactly where it's meant to be on the pedal travel, and it's lovely and smooth and slick in operation. Gearbox, absolutely superb in these cars, it really is, I've always said it. Um, the positioning of the gear lever is perfect because your elbow sits on the armrest here, hand falls naturally exactly where the gear lever is. Short in throw, really precise in actuation. Um, it's an absolute class act. Easily, easily go into any of Honda's more sporty cars in all honesty. It's, it's, it's that well done and it feels absolutely as new to operate. road just concentrate one second steering of the vehicle is a real strong point on the crvs because honda done a lovely job in giving you what is you know going around corners like this it's precise it's accurate it's really nicely weighted you're not having to whirl the steering wheel around too much to get it to do anything uh, but the car follows absolutely faithfully uh, also feels very solid in hand it makes the car feel nice and um, solid on the road as well it's a very hard thing to kind of describe but it truly does um, and it's very well matched the chassis of the vehicle so the chassis is you know not sloppy but it's not too firm as well um, it tracks absolutely dead straight there are no vibrations at all at this speed or any speed up to the legal limit um, chassis that bump there is one I like to go over on these road tests because if you'll hear it hitting the bump but what I don't want to hear is any kind of secondary noise any kind of nasty knocking noises or chattering coming from underneath the car and there is nothing at all worth pointing out it's going to go through an independent MOT so obviously it will be checked as part of that MOT the chassis also gives you a really lovely balance between very comfortable and good body control through the corners unlike so many suvs you don't get huge amounts of motion going on it's very settled ride not big body roll angles going through the corners and that's particularly important for rear seat passengers who may not be concentrating on the road ahead but can get swayed about in so many of its competitors um honda done a lovely job on this but they should know i mean in all honesty because they're the crv's best-selling suv in the world so there's a very good reason for that. Just going to get up to speed and give the brakes a bit of a thump. Just 
check those out, so bear with me one second. So make sure no one's directly behind me. And it's a good solid brake pedal on the car, which is what I'm looking for. Um, so all in good order there. Coming inside the vehicle, first things first, we've not cleaned it yet. It's literally just come to us, but it is very clean in here. Um, but notably, it, they're just beautifully, beautifully made cars. Um, no squeaks, no rattles, nothing at all. All certainly from the driver's seat. Looks as though it's been kept very, very nicely indeed. Um, simple, easy dashboard to use. Sat nav, as you can see there, working absolutely perfectly. You've got a dual zone climate control system giving you different temperatures side to side as well. That blows out lovely cold air because we checked that in a nice warm workshop um, just before I came out on the road test. Switch gear quality, as I always say, is absolutely fantastic and a slightly nerdy thing to say, but it really is. The quality of actuation, the, the effort Honda put into these things is amazing. Directly in front of me, dash binnacle, simple, easy, legible. Temperature gauge, by the way, running as a third, which is exactly where it's meant to be on a Honda car. Steering wheels, leather bound, feels great in hand and feels like new to hold, in all honesty. Um, obviously, you've got various controls on the steering wheel, your cruise control, hands-free, and sort of various other sort of information functions as well, but all functioning exactly as intended there. This is a four-wheel drive version of the CRV, um, albeit you notice the complete absence of buttons for four-wheel drive because the car does it all for you. Honda worked out very, very quickly that the vast majority of people driving these cars would be driving them as I am today, where you just don't need four-wheel drive on. Um, so cars with permanent four-wheel drive have a habit of getting through the tyres and fuel and put a lot more quickly and putting a lot more mechanical stress to the cars and um, this is just genius because basically if the front wheels start to lose grip it instantly and seamlessly brings in the rear wheels to give you four-wheel drive and, and I've owned countless numbers of this version of the CRV which we tow a caravan with and never come close to getting stuck nor have we ever had an issue with the four-wheel drive system on a CRV so that they are very tough indeed as I said at the start of the video, the point of it is literally just to show the car in operation, but to feed back on any issues there may be on the car, and there is nothing at all. It drives absolutely beautifully. Uh, any questions, don't hesitate, do give us a call.